Hello everyone, Jeffrey Breyer in Laguna Beach, California, and here in Montreal, Canada, Sylvie. I have had the pleasure to work with seniors in different um, capacities. I worked as, a, as an artist, I worked as an educator, and uh, ran some uh, workshops with seniors. I, had a, I have a love of elders and seniors. I think of them as a library that has so much to offer and they have so much things that they're just waiting to share if we're willing to listen. I have training in gerontology, so I, uh, I have a great understanding of who they're all about, but there are always a lot of surprises that comes with that too. And laughter yoga I brought into residences uh, four years ago and uh, built my, uh, my laughter business in that way. Of course, I know how, how much it makes them feel good Every time I go in, I am reminded that I'm just going in for a visit with grandma and grandpa. I don't see this as uh, a business call. I might be their only visitor that day or that week, and I want to make it count. So I go in, I, I have a lot of respect for them, and I think in that sense, anything that I do in the laughter yoga program, I am okay with anyone walking in because often we have here residents that there is someone is touring to see if this is a nice place for mom and dad to move in. Mm -hmm. And so we have to keep that in mind that uh, at any time that they come in, uh, that it, it looks like it's a great place for mom and dad to move in. So uh, what are, when, you, know, when you consider that, how it would look from outside visitors who are thinking of bringing or people who are thinking of sending their loved ones, what are some of the things that you do or that you refrain from doing with consideration for outsiders? Um, I am not one to use um, uh, the, the, the clown material. I am not saying that I don't use anything, like I have fun things for them, but I'm always aware that uh, how it does look from the outside because there's, there's a fair amount. I mean, that's how you decide if you're going to move in or not. And if they do, because I have, I, I do like uh, a theme one in the, in the cold January month where we're all dressed up with lays around and we're going to Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, this is about being fun. I, I will take that a uh, few seconds if someone are visiting to say that, you know, this is all about being fun and then I'll give them some information that they can read on it. So they don't think that this, uh, this facility has this roof of are silly people, even if they did, it wouldn't be that bad, but you know how it is. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so, so that's one thing when I'm saying about respect. Um, also about what they, um, they can bring to the, the program or bring to the group. I have some people saying that they, they want to see, they don't want to participate, they're not feeling good. And, and I know that, you know, what's the option? You're going to sit downstairs in the cafeteria by yourself? At least if you're here listening to some laughter. So this, it, then, of course, we know that, you know, 95% of the time they'll join in. But if I don't make it feel like you have to join in and laugh, but you can be just sitting in the, in the group and uh, listen to the laughter. So, um, and you were saying most of those people do end up joining, joining in after well, a little while. They do. Yeah. They usually do, and that's the other thing too, like, you know, when uh, I guess uh, every residence is different, I know that even when I go in and, and the activity director has set up a space for me to, to be, I still recruit. So if I see someone that's sitting by the, you know, the front entrance on their own, it's just like, why don't you just come and, and, uh, and laugh with us for a few minutes, even if you can't stay for the whole session, because obviously they're going somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, the only the only one I don't interfere with is if they have an appointment at the hairdresser. Like you don't need. <laughs> oh, <laughs> let me ask you one more thing. You had talked about respecting people's abilities, yes. and so you said you don't tell people. Tell us again what you said. How do you put it so people feel uh -huh. comfortable? Um, I actually I, I ask them to whenever they're doing something, you do what is available to you today. So if raising both your arms, the right, right arm doesn't want to go up today, it's not available today, just use the right one. So it's, uh, it's all about make it sound like it's not, I can't do it, it's, it's just not available. <laughs> so, and, uh, and they seem to, to love that, you know, that um, distinction in can't and available.
Um, also, I have adjusted, I, I guess we all do, I always say like we start with the same recipe but we all have our, our different flavor to the Lafe Yoga and uh, when we do the clapping, often as a regular program our arms are right up in the air when we, uh, we go uh, very good, very good, yay! yay. Yeah. I, I, with my seniors I'm aware of their blood pressure mm -hmm. and so when we do the very good, very good, it's just thumbs up, yay! Yeah. So it's not raising for some of them, and uh, if they will, they'll do it. But usually, this is something that they, they just love a thumbs up, and uh, yeah. so it's again, it's just like you you have to be so in tune with your group. Like, you know, if you see someone that's not looking uh, particularly uh, straight, has no strength that day, well, you just kind of remind them to you know whatever what speed you want to do, what whatever work, whatever is available to you, we'll deal with this today. So let's. Give a very good yay for Sylvie. Very good. Very good. Yay! One more time. Very good. Very good. Yay! Thank you, Sylvie. Hi, I'm Misty Aiden. I'm in San Angelo, Texas. Texas, yeehaw! Yes! And we are Retirement Central. We pride ourselves on that, so I work with seniors a lot. Um, and I'm here to tell you five things that you should know about doing laughter yoga with seniors. Thank the you. first, know thyself. You know where you're going to be comfortable. If you don't like hospitals, don't go there. <laughs> There's plenty of other places, community centers, those are great too. The second thing, safety space. And I'm t actually referring to two different things here. Love, love. Laughter yoga is all about love. So, seniors need love too. Towards the end of our lives, we actually question um, if we have loved enough and if we've been loved. So, um, it's so important in this group. The other thing is make sure the physical environment is a safe space. You want to have chairs, at least out here in West Texas where it's hot, air conditioner, um, water, and a trash can. Definitely <laughs> trash can. You know, they start to hack and all that stuff up and, well, speed them happens. He'll thank me later. <laughs> uh, speaking of trash cans, file 13. Always be adaptable. If you're going to have a, an agenda, well, don't have an agenda. You might have an outline. Um, honor the present moment. If you come in and you're not in such a great mood, don't try to BS them. They're old. They know better. So just... Go with it. If you need to do some mental floss, do it. Some affirmations, do it. Um, and change your lenses. You might think you're seeing old people, but all you're really seeing is children in really baggy clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Fourth, be hands-on. This group of the population, they're missing that 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 sense, that touch. Um, they're usually widows, you know, they're, they just don't get touch and we all need touch. These people are not brittle newsprint, they're more like fine wine hmm. and leather. Leather is nice. <laughs> so, be all about the touch, do those great wonderful hugs and greeting laughs and all of that jazz. Lastly, know that it takes just one. It takes just one person, one moment of being fully present for one connection to change one stranger's life. Joy is in the oneness and we are all about joy when doing laughter yoga. Let's do very good, very good, yay! Very good, very good, yay! Very good, very good, yay! Let me ask you one more question, Missy, because I think you touched on this and it's really important. You were saying Suppose you go to a, you're, you've scheduled a session and you yourself aren't feeling good and here it's your responsibility to be the person who brings the joy and the merriment but you've, you know, you've had a problem getting over there, flat tire, whatever. So how do you recommend or how do you yourself psych yourself up or, or like you said something about admit to them because they're going to know, they're going to read through. Well, I've had a flat tire on the way to a club and actually invented a flat tire in the rain laugh. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I just, I'm real. And um, that's what I encourage all my members to be. I just acknowledge it, get it out in the open, and move on. And things always look up from there. 
Yeah, and like you were saying, you actually made a laughter exercise out of your misfortune, right? Yes. So will you do that with your with the seniors you work with? Will you, you know, when they've got a complaint or a problem, you make a laughter yeah. exercise out of it? Definitely. Definitely. I'm all about making things up on the spur of the moment. Huh. They don't all 